Okay, welcome. I'm Dr. Wicked. I'm going to try to walk you through setting up a dedicated server for the ship remastered, uh, just to help get the word out and to make it so there are more dedicated servers out there, so more games for me to play. So there's this post in the forums, which works to a certain extent, but uh, the way that I got it up and running is the way I'm going to show you today. Uh, so first of all, you go to, in Steam, you go to Library, and then go to Tools. I've already favorited it, but you just scroll down through your available tools, and then you go Install Game. I'm just going to install it in the standard place. Blah -de blah. So reading down through here, um, I found a little bit of misinformation, but uh, I should be able to talk you through it here. All right, uh, now what I want to do, because every time you update, this will update the files every time the, the file is synced. It'll sync all your information back and forth. So uh, a recommendation that I saw was to put this directory somewhere else. So I went into properties and then go to local files browse local files that'll bring up the folder in explorer where your files are okay so there are the files i am going to move them into a different directory i'm going to move it to a separate folder so i don't have to launch it from steam all right so here are your files and the main one we're concerned with is server.config so I presume you have Notepad++ just because everyone should have Notepad++. Okay, so we're going to grab the config file from the tsrds1 and we are going to modify the defaults. Um, I had pr problems until I changed it to 7778. I don't know if it was a conflict with something else on my network. Um, but that's the port that worked for me, so YMMV. And then we're going to rename this something like The Ship Hits the Fan. And I'm going to take it down to 12 just to make it a little easier on my server. Random. And the default game mode is zero for Hunt. Okay, then I'm going to save that file. I just press Control S. Um, they haven't really explained what any of these lower values do yet. So I'm going to close this, go away, and then I'm going to copy this and write over the previous server.config file that was there. Now we're going to run it and see if it boots all right. Okay, so that seems to be working all right. Now the next thing that you need to do is uh, port forwarding. So it uses ports 7776 through 7778 and 443. Uh, you need to go into your router and set up port forwarding. I can show you on mine. I have DDWRT installed, but it's going to look something like going to look something like this. I tried to do port range forwarding, but that didn't actually work. I had to go in and specifically set up a, a particular port. So this is forwarded to my local server so that when you're trying to access my IP from the internet, it directs all the traffic addressed to that port to a specific computer within my network. So the router is routing it, routing the traffic from that port to your inner port. I apologize if you understand this, but I just feel like explaining. Uh, so once that is saved, and it, your mileage may vary, uh, if you don't know how to get to your router, just Google it. Um, but if this looks daunting, Google around until it makes sense, but you should know how to do this kind of stuff on your router if you want to host a dedicated server. Um, so that's running. 
and then the next thing that we do is we load it up and we see if it works. If you've done all that correctly, you then should be able to go back into your games, load up the ship, Join a cruise. And it's not there. You might need to restart your router before changes take effect. Uh, there'll be different instructions for different routers, but uh, make sure that you apply all the settings and then just keep refreshing. And there we are. If you've configured your router and everything correctly, you should see your server and you can join it and enjoy lag free play of the ship. Not bug free, but lag free. Have fun. I hope you found this useful. I'm Dr. Wicked signing out. Nope, I'm Alton Harvey Kinslow. Totally appropriate.